the day before your USMLE step one exam, you absolutely need to do Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anu and I am a third year medical student at St. George's University. You are watching Journey to MD. For today's video, we're going to be talking about what you should do the day before your USMLE Step 1 exam. But before we get into it, have you subscribed? If you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also make sure you press the notification bell so you get notified every time a new video comes up on my channel. All right, so let's get into it. So at this point in time, you have studied, you have worked hard, and you are basically prepared for your exam. But maybe there's a couple more days before that exam and you're wondering, what am I going to do the day before my exam? Don't worry, I got you. I know a lot of places tell you to do absolutely nothing. I completely subscribe to that idea of doing absolutely nothing because the day before a huge exam, such as the USMLE Step 1, you want to make sure that your mind is in a place of peace and rest. As much as the USMLE Step 1 exam is an academic exam and it's testing your knowledge, it is also in a way a mentally tasking exam. So the day before your exam, you want to make sure that you are completely rested, your brain is in peace and you know, you're ready to attack that exam the next day. But there are people who would get a little bit anxious about doing nothing the day before the Step 1 exam. I have a couple of things that I have put together that I did personally the day before my exam and it worked for me. The first thing to do would be to review your weak points. So during my dedicated step studying period, I made sure that while I went through first aid, I wrote down the page numbers that had certain concepts that I was not comfortable with. I had them in a sticky note on my laptop. And so every once in a while I would go back to them, but many of them were not sticking. So then I just left them alone and focused on other things. So the day before the exam was when I reviewed those pages. There were about 10 pages and I knew there were certain concepts on those pages that I was not comfortable comfortable with so I reviewed those on the day before my exam to be honest you still need that rest 100% so I gave myself from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. to study and to review material and then from 2 p.m. till I slept at 10 p.m. I did absolutely nothing and I would recommend that for you so from 8 a.m. till 2 p.m. I just did my weak points, I reviewed those pages and first aid that I already wrote down and I went through biostat formulas because they were not sticking. So I made sure I did that before the step one exam, just so it was fresh in my brain, especially those things I needed to cram. I mean, obviously don't cram for your step one, but there were just certain concepts that honestly, no matter how many times I went through it, for some reason just never stuck. For example, the um, markers for certain cancers. I just could not memorize all of them. So I went through them during my 8 a.m. to 2 p.m. period that I gave myself, made sure it was fresh in my memory. So for you, it might not be biostats, it might be something else. Make sure you have that written down now that you're studying during your dedicated. Obviously don't leave so many pages for your day before the exam review, just a couple of pages. I had 10 first aid pages that I wanted to review, but it was not the entire page. It was just certain concepts that I already highlighted on the pages that I wanted to go through again, just to be sure I was completely good, you know? Another thing to do would be to talk to yourself. As I mentioned, it's a mental exam as well. You want to make sure that you are in optimum mental capacity before you go into this exam. So if it takes you looking at yourself in the mirror and telling yourself that you are strong, you are intelligent, you can do this, you're capable, you definitely have prepared and you will do well, then go ahead and do that. I definitely, I'm one of those people, I talk to myself. Yes, yes, I talk to myself. And I think it's so important too because, you know, sometimes we can get into our head too much and think that you've not done enough or you are not going to do well or all of those negative thoughts. And we don't have time, we don't have space, we don't have energy for that. So mm -mm. talk to yourself if you need to talk to yourself and make sure you are encouraging yourself and letting yourself know that that is an exam that you're going to absolutely kill in a good way. Another thing to do would be to plan your test. If you have not done so already, then the day before your exam is the day to plan your test. The exam is eight hours long, 15 minutes for tutorials, 45 minutes for break, and then seven hours for the exam. So if you want to do two blocks of questions, first then take a 10 minutes break, or one block or whatever it is that you want to do, make sure you have it planned out. In my studying for the USMLE video, I told you guys that 
for your last two weeks before your exam, you want to make sure you're simulating the exam conditions. So hopefully you guys have watched that video and you've already known to plan how your exam would go before now. But if you haven't, I'm going to link it above and you can go ahead and watch that as well. Make sure you plan how your exam is going to go, when you're going to take breaks, know exactly what it is you're going to eat at every break. I know I'm a micromanager. I'd like to know all these things before going into an exam. The only thing that is up in the air for me that day is that exam, but everything else is planned. That's how I like to manage my stress. You also want to do the tutorial before you go in for the exam because that gives you 15 extra minutes for your break time. So you can honestly Google step one tutorial and it would come up and it will take you to, through the exact tutorial that you're going to see on the exam that day. So when you do see it on the exam, you can go ahead and skip through it and then you get 15 minutes extra to your break. The next thing to do will be to get your bag ready, everything you're going to take to the venue. Make sure everything is ready. So you don't want to be looking for things the morning of the exam. For example, I wear glasses, so I had to make sure my glasses were in my bag. My lunch was in the fridge in a box, like it was already put into a box. I put it in the fridge like that just so I grab it and go. My outfit was ready. I prayed over everything and then I took five juice boxes four granola bars because I plan to have five breaks or four breaks I have a breakdown of my of how I plan my time if I find it I will put it up on the video as well so every single break I took a juice box and I ate a granola bar I was very lucky that the Prometric Center I was at was in Ottawa Canada and for some reason that day nobody was writing any exams well there was one other person but he finished like two hours into the exam into my exam so he was gone so lucky for me I didn't have to wait in a line to be checked out of the exam hall or to be checked back into the exam hall. So I had like my time for break was fully my time for break. But again, for you, it might be different. You may be going to a prometric center that is busy and crowded. So know the site that you're going to and understand that you have to work with what they have there. You don't want a situation where you run out of time because your break was slightly ex extended due to the line when you're checking back in. So make sure you have all that figured out as well. That's it for the video, guys. I hope that was helpful. If it was, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. You can also share this video with somebody. It might help them. And if you have not subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button because I would love to see you come back for more videos. That's it. Have a great day. Bye-bye.